Hello and welcome. Namaskar. Time series analysis. And now we are going to discuss the first method in case of fitting of non-linear trend. And that is quadratic method or second degree parabola. Now the standard equation of the trend will be y equals to a plus bx plus c x square. x square that means this is non-linear trend. The method of least square is almost similar to the uh, fitting of trend rather linear trend but because of x square the process is now somewhat lengthier okay uh, the time series with us is of seven years that means we have odd number of years and in case of odd number of years or periods we select the middle year as the origin and as we have already selected origin 2013 now we can determine the value of x as usual x will be year minus origin divided by interval if you prefer the change of scale which I personally do not prefer and that is very easy say for the year 2010 x will be 2010 minus origin 2013 divided by interval of 1 so it will be minus 3 similarly 2011 minus 2013 it will be minus 2 and in the same way minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 3 plus 2 plus 1 positive 6 and negative 6 it comes to 0 and the summation of y is 98 now on the basis of this as there is another angle of x square now we shall have three normal equations instead of two like in the case of straight line see the standard equation in case of second degree parabola is y equals to a plus bx plus cx square to have the first normal equation we just get summation of all these it is something like multiplying by sigma but we are well aware that sigma is the sign of summation where there is variable it will be the summation of that particular variable so it will be sigma y equals to now a is constant there is no variable like x or y with a so sigma is a constant value and uh, sorry a is a constant value and sigma with a constant value becomes n so it will be n a plus b sigma x because x is a variable so summation of variable is possible plus c sigma x square c we need sigma x square as usual so there must be a column of x square that is also in the case of linear trend but the second equation will be multiply the first normal equation by x so it will be sigma xy equals to now we know that n is nothing but sigma and now we have variable x so it will become a sigma x plus b sigma x square plus c sigma x cube so a new column is also there x cube but we need to find out the three constant values a b and c so we need one more normal equation and the process is same multiply the second normal equation again by x so it will be now sigma x square y a new column plus a sigma x square plus b sigma x cube plus C sigma x raised to 4. So, so many new columns we need. First, if we maintain the order, let's write x, y. 10 into minus 3 minus 30, 12 into minus 2 minus 24, 18 into minus 1 minus 18, 0 into 15, 0, 13 into 1, 13, 16 into 2, 32, 14 into 3, 42. Positive total comes to 87. 
and negative total comes to 72. So 15 is the summation of xy, sigma xy. Now x squared. Up to x square, all the columns are same as they are in the case of a linear trend. Only additional columns we are going to write after this. x square will be 9410149. 9 plus 4, 13 plus 1, 14 into 2, 28 sigma x square. Now we need x square into y also. x square into y. x square into y. 9 into rather... 9 into 10, 94 into 12, 48, 1 into 18, 18, 0 into anything, 0, 1 into 13, 13, 4 into 16, 64, 9 into 14, 126. And the total is, I have already written the total, the total comes to 359, sigma x square y. And two further columns, x cube and x raised to 4. x cube, please be careful, there can be a mistake of sign. x cube will have negative values. x cube is x into x square, minus 3 into 9, minus 27. Minus 2 into 4, minus 8. Minus 1 into 1, minus 1, 0. 1 into 1, 1. 2 into 4, 8 and 3 into 9, 27. Positive total comes to 36 and negative total comes to 36. So, sigma x cube is 0. Now, the last column x raised to 4. And because of this column, it is also known as quadratic method. It is nothing square of x square. 9 square is 81. 4 square is 16, 1 square is 1, 0, 1, 16 and 81. 81 plus 16, 97 plus 1, 98 plus 98, it is 196 sigma x raised to 4 or quadratic x. So now we have all the columns we need. So let's go for finding A, B and C. That's not as easy as it was in the case of Linear trend, let's go, we are going to use the first equation and let's see what happens, sigma y equals to n a plus b sigma x plus c sigma x square. Let's substitute the value, sigma y is 98 plus n is 7, 7 a plus b into 0 plus c into 28. So, no value, but uh, an equation 7a plus 28c equals to 98. We are going to keep this as it is, not going to simplify it. Let it become equation number 1. Now, let's use the second normal equation, that is sigma y, sorry, sigma xy equals to a sigma x. It is nothing but first normal equation into x plus b sigma x square plus c sigma x cube. Sigma xy is 15 a into 0 plus b into 28 plus c into also 0. So a and c become 0. Therefore 28 b equals to 15. And therefore, B equals to 0.54 approximately. I am going to maintain two decimal places. So, we can have value of B directly from the second normal equation. Now, let's use the third normal equation. Sigma x square Y equals to A sigma x square plus B sigma x cube plus C sigma x raised to 4. And the values are 359 equals to A into 28 plus B into 0 plus C into 196. Therefore, ultimately we have 28A plus 196C equals to 359. Let's call it equation number 2. And by solving equation number 1 as well as 2, we can have values of two constants A and C. For this purpose, 
we are going to multiply equation number 1 by 4 because that will result in 28a so equation number 1 into 4 that will be 28a plus 112c equals to 98 into 4 392 now we can say subtract equation number 2 from it 28a plus 196c equals to 359 minus uh, sorry positive 28a will become negative positive 196c will become negative and positive 359 will become negative so ultimately we have um, 84c sorry negative 84c equals to positive 30 3. Therefore, C equals to 33 by negative 84. Therefore, C comes to negative 0.4. Hmm. Okay, approximately. This is approximate value. Now, let's substitute. C equals to minus 0.4 either in equation number 1 or in equation number 3. Whatever your choice is. I am going to prefer equation number 1. 7a plus 28c equals to 98. Therefore, 7a plus 28 into minus 0.4 equals to 98. Therefore, 7a minus...
and by substituting respective value of x and x square for different years we can have the estimated values for those years now again it is your assignment for this sum substitute all these x and x square values in this non-linear trend and find out the trend values for all these years which are the part of this time series so this was second degree parabola that's it